this card's really good, Bone Collector. All these cards are really good in this deck. This deck's a top tier deck. Oh, so we are alive. Okay, cool. Area. Okay. Anyways. What's up guys? We're playing Furia. This game is so awesome. So <coughs> I started playing this game when this game was new. And and uh <coughs> so I'm playing Create One Forest at random. Wow. Think that forest more, mate. I guess I gotta. Um. Think it's. All right. So, going against my better judgment. I don't. I see. I don't think you should use the explore. On turn one, like almost ever, unless you know they're they're playing a rushdown. Aggro strat. There is aggro green in this deck. So the deck. Why does this get cut off at the top? It's bullshit. So the deck is. I think. Yeah, that's 59 hertz. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so he's. That's like unoptimal. It's like suboptimal. What do you play? Add a random green creature to your hand. It gains 6-6. Six, six. Ooh. It's a good card, bah, boy. Okay. So we're going to start moving towards the Yeah, we'll, we'll play the village elder and we're going to play that there. Um so this game's really cool if if you guys haven't played this game. <laughs> so it's like a trading card game like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone. So you start with 20 health and you cast these things and but unlike Hearthstone or Magic there's a field, so it's really cool. I knew he was gonna rush me. He's so okay. So, I mean, Wood Elemental is like pretty standard, like in any green deck. But now I have to slow down my development and play and just get around my uh, get two things around. See, he could go here and then yeah. You never want your base, your god, I guess it's called, to be uh like totally surrounded. Uh, it just, that's how you get owned by aggro. Yeah, so it's a really, really fun game. I mean, I play, I love playing card games, as you know. Like, I play poker all the time. I think card games are, like, like, so cool because, like, they're inherently, there's luck, like, inherently to the game. I guess he's trying to bait me over here. So I, I'm going to control here while he controls here, which, which is fine. But I have to play a forest this, this, this turn. So now he can't play on here. And we're gonna do one of these. See, take care, give a creature 2-2. Two, two. I don't even want to do it right now. Yeah. It's just too early. So my deck is green yellow, so green's about buffing characters, getting big guys out. Um and yellow is more about like tempo. Yeah, Verdant Force. It's one of the best cards in the game. It's just a seven-seven. So, I mean, there's there's ways to kill this. It's there's seven-eleven. Um. Yeah. So we'll play. Should we play up? No, we'll we'll play. I mean, rule of thumb says you play up. Yeah, so this one, so my deck's called, it's it's a sacrifice deck. Meaning, play here and buff. 7, 4. So I have 8 Feria, I just don't have a spot for this guy. Yeah, so we'll attack here. Uh, that's bullshit. And we're gonna play seven. If he if he kills him, 
let's just wait. Sit down and smile, and we'll wait it out. He can't. He can't hit. So you can only move one, unless you have something called charge, which means you can move in a straight line multiple ones. So he's trying to rush me down, but that's not a good strategy because my deck is about my deck is a control is a creature oriented control deck. So what it does is it tries to control the board with creatures, and then my I've sent out my big creatures, who, which get bigger every time my guys die. So that's fine. He killed my demon ringers two one. Demon Wrangler's body, like that 2 1, usually is used for sacrificing. So I basically sacrifice my own guys to get bigger. So now he's a 7 8. I mean, I could flash Sam at him. Uh, I'd rather just. Nah, I'd rather just use that. <coughs> oh, okay, so it's 12. So I need to find 5 more damage. 2, 3, 4, 5. I have it. Can I live it, though? So. I could just sack him. I could just sack him. Question is, can I live it? It's six, seven, eight, nine, I need three. Yeah, I, could, I think I could live it. Nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I got it. It's awesome. And then see this, this deck, this deck's really, really good. So, so this guy, the Soul Eater, he just gets bigger and bigger. And now, so we have two and two, so we still actually kind of want to control the board. Uh, I'm going to develop a thing over here, a desert over there. <coughs> this game is just, like, beautiful. I mean, whoever created this game. problem is he's susceptible when you have one health susceptible kills with so I have the board I have the board in terms of characters but I don't have the board in terms of land in terms of land but my deck's not about winning early okay so then every and you can get so so here is how you cast your your guys but you also need the land amount too so I mean it's it's pretty self-explanatory this guy he's just a 5-2 flying damn um I could move Okay, so this, here, here's my play. So he's gonna be on. So here, and then he'll move. He's able to move here, get the kill. So yeah, I mean, so so every time I die, a guy dies, this guy gets bigger. So he's my win condition. So I need to play a forest in order to. Um, <coughs> you want to control the center, but yeah. Uh, I need five Feria, so I do not have that right now. I'm gonna probably block here to block his uh, his development there, and I'm gonna block here. So now, so now he can't cast on his lands. So I mean, this game is oh, it's just so awesome. Uh, Doug, if you're watching, uh, my buddy Doug, uh, he's a pro poker player in Vegas, or was like you know he's. Like me on and off. Uh, he was playing last night, and I actually watched your stream, Doug. So, yeah, it looks like his is a mono green, but that's fine. I mean, our guy's a nine nine. He might have there's a there's a spell that just kill target creature, but it's for six Feria, which is a lot. One seven. Okay, so he plays a one seven aggressively, which is really good for us because now we can um three two jump. So we have the land base. Yeah, so we want to play aggressively here. And play this here. So he's a 9-9. Nine, nine. He will become a 10-10 once this guy dies. Uh, I'm going to keep him here. I'm going to move him here. So Oh, he, can't, he, he has taunt. I forgot. He has jump. And, and so this guy, he's so good. So he gets plus one, plus one every time a guy dies, a friendly creature. He's flying, which means he can go on spaces that don't have land. And he has charge three, so in, in a straight line, he can go, he can move three. But he can't jump. So jump means you can obviously jump over guys. So this is taunt. This symbol's taunt, meaning I can only attack. This guy, 
adjacent enemy creatures can't do anything other than attack that guy. <clears throat> so Shamanic Dancer just gives him 04 Taunt, which I'll probably use to him. So every turn you get three Feria, and then these give you one Feria each, and Feria f uh, goes over. Okay, so he's 11, 12 Taunt. I do have a Death Touch guy. There he is. There he is. But we're going to kill this here. He's 11, 12. I need him to live. I need him to have... So right now he's even, so he needs three more health. So, so he, here's how we're going to do it. Um, so this will collect the Feria, so I get one more here. And then we're going to play a land in his zone, so we're pushing our lead here. And then we're going to... 11, 15. So we need one creature to die here. So all we're going to do is... Uh, Kill off our own guy, so then this guy will get bigger, which which is the same thing, and then I, I'm able to kill him there. See how strong that is? He's still, I mean, he's he only needs three damage now. And this guy's really good too, the Skyyak, because okay, he, he surrendered. The Skyyak, every time I summons, summon him, he summons another Skyyak for how many Skyyaks have died that game. Awesome. So I haven't played this game in like over a, about a year, and I love this game like when I first started. That's green, yellow sacrifice. I'll show you uh, blue, green, hard ramp. This this deck's awesome. And then blue, yellow, tempo. So these are the decks that are modern right now is this. So these ones right here. So mono green was the first like really good deck in like right. So I played this game right when this came out in beta. Uh, this is a aggro deck, mono green. It uses that 7-7. Seven, seven. And this is yellow rush. It uses the little guys to rush. So these decks are outdated. Um... I haven't, they're like oh, over a year old. Oh, the stream's frozen. <laughs> and, um, blue green is ramp. So ramp, for those of you un, uh, unaware of the word ramp in uh, t trading card games, uh, it's kind of just what it sounds like, which is you play things in the early game that, that, Make it so that you play the bigger, more expensive things faster. Tempo is tempo is a thing where it's you're always one step ahead of them. You always have the tempo on them. So tempo slash tempi. Tempi is a single unit of movement in a game, in game theory. So you're always one tempi ahead of them in a, in a tempo style deck. So like for example in chess... <coughs> you are always a half tempi ahead if you're white versus black. So, uh, I guess my screen, my stream is laggy. Oh, I didn't change my settings. I forgot, I did not change my settings. So I actually mulligan these. I mean, Shaitan Assassin's awesome, but I don't think he's that good early. So I'm gonna change my settings. Uh, um, and lower my, And lower my. I'm gonna. Click on collector here. Um, lower my output. Uh, my bit rate to. Two thousand. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully my bit rate's down. Uh, he might be rushing me, so... Uh, Alright, I don't have anything right as of now. I'd like to balance out my lands, but at the same time... It's okay not to. So this is a 1-1, one, one. it's just uh, when he dies, he, you draw a card. So last words, the key text there, is what happens when that card dies. Uh, I lowered my bitrate. I, I hope I hope the settings are better. Bitrate, and then there's another thing I can do. Streaming bitrate, audio bitrate. I mean, I mean, I think that's about it. <clears throat> okay, so he has a sky act. That's not good. He might be playing the same deck as me, but I have tempo on him, like I said. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna start building up. Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna wait on to develop him. The cool part about this is that the things um, <laughs> that your Feria transfers over to the next turn, which is really good. Oh, so he's playing a triple color deck. He's playing blue, white, green, or blue, yellow, green. So I need three and three to unlock my Soul Eater, which I don't really try to rush it actually, but he's not he's not putting very much pressure on me right now, which is good. Uh, but I need to cast the Assassin. So what I'll do here is. Not gonna cast my assassin yet. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm gonna wait. So that was probably a misplay. I should have uh, tried to gain the center with um, and undevelop my lands. Okay, so he's retreating. He's gonna try to play on both sides of the map, which is good. This is how you beat my deck. You either use the combat damage to go to my face. Or you play on both sides and try to make me go all around the map. Like a chicken with its head cut off. Yeah, so I'm going to develop towards the center. <coughs> which is fine. Because then I could play... So you, I always want these guys right by my green guy. Because whenever he dies, they, he gets one plus, plus one plus one. So yeah, I, I came here also to talk about poker. I was going to say how... Uh, why I haven't been playing lately. Uh, I just don't like the game that much anymore, and it's boring, and I've, I've just decided, like, I want to do other things in life. So he's hoarding Feria, which is bad. Uh, meaning he's got a lot of health. I mean, he's got a, he can do a lot of actions. We're going to move over to this side with my Assassin, and the Assassin's going to control this side of the map. <coughs> Are you playing event game one one? Okay, so he's going to die. For, I'm going to kill him first, if I can. Okay, so he's a 3-3. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. I think I know what to do. So, put Deep put Stalker here. He'll kill him. And then he'll kill, hit him once. And... Now I'm able to... Awesome. I'm able to... Okay, so if he buffs him once, he'll live. Uh, so this is what I'll do here. I'll play... No. I'm gonna play my Sky Boy over here. I think... This is a fine play. It's pretty aggressive. Okay, so this is scary since this guy's big. That's my yak, right? Yeah. I don't need to play on a smile this turn. <coughs> he can he can play a land here, so Yeah. We're gonna what we're gonna do is try to get my assassin over here. So it's cool, it uses the idea of land like magic, but it um 
you actually have land, you know? So I guess this, or, or, or this one's kind of his win count. So reduce, is this taunt? Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand by one, then shuffle them into your deck and draw that many cards. Okay, that's kind of cool. He's doing it again. Uh, and he has 24 in. Okay, so it's not like he's hitting these specific cards, you know? Whenever you gather Feria, this structure gains one life. Destroy it and gain Feria equal to its life. Okay, that's pretty good. So... We're gonna play... This here? 6-6, six, six. we don't wanna play that yet. We wanna gather here. Now he has a bubble, which is sick, so now he blocks it. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to play this yet. I'm gonna try to get to this, control this area. He's got this side to worry about. Straight and gain fair equal to his life. Okay, so he's hoarding. I should. I wanna go for the 6 6 first. I think an event is just like a card. So if he has something that deals one damage, that's bad. Add a copy of a creature to your hand, it costs 5 less. Okay. Yep. Taunt. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I could just like go for the win. Now oh, this has taunt. Yeah, so Aurora's Discipline looks like that's his uh, win con. So it looks like. I'm gonna go here to collect. I'm gonna go here to collect. Kill this here. Looks like I'm gonna make this for my Soul Eater. Which is good, so I will have. Be an 8-8, so you can take care of that. But this could, will grow next turn. Mm. What is it? It costs 5, so. We're gonna try to draw him. Uh, yes, we got it. So you're here. So, on the board, he can't kill those right now. <clears throat> All right, so, he, but I mean, I don't know. He's gonna survive that. So he's I play a uh, hard ramp is awesome. Chess. How do you get chess? I don't even know. Maybe you buy them from the store? One battle chest. Yeah, cool. One 
mythic chest. Which do we have? Oh, this is only that money. Yeah. Look how cool this game is. I mean, I'm streaming this because I want more people to play, even though like, not many people watch my streams. Uh, stream. I have like every card because back when I first when I played in the beta I bought this thing where like you get every card that they'll make you'll get at least like like three copies of every card that they make uh, until you get every, a copy of every card they make until uh, like a certain time <coughs> I don't know what it is uh, so I have like every card, and then when I came back, I had like so much of this gold. So I was I was able to unlock like basically every card that they had, which is really cool. By the way, this game's not expensive, so I highly recommend it. I guess there's there's not as much people that play it right now, but they're coming out with a. Uh, a, uh, oh my god. They're coming out with the mobile. And that should be really fun. Or that should uh, increase the amount of people that played. Because actually, like, I didn't play Hearthstone until mobile came out. Um, so. And I got Legend in Hearthstone uh, two or three times, so. Uh, I was. Pretty obsessed with that game. What are the other things you can do to help uh, the streaming quality? Oh, okay, this is a new deck. Shit, I forget this deck. This requires water elemental. Yeah. Uh, actually, we'll keep this because this frog could go off. Was it blue? This is a blue green deck? Okay. Not as. I don't know this deck as much. So I love how it, like, it, 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 like, it adds, uh. <coughs> there's, there's randomness to this game. You know? Whenever they play, uh, land out front, <coughs> I usually play land out front. Uh, so right now I'm gonna, uh, play blue. Because I have two blue and two green, and this could only buff a character, so. I'm gonna wait. So remember, this is a ramp style deck. Uh, crates of forests. So that's that's what we want. Oh, this creates a lake. It has jump. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're, we're, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play aggro here. Game one for each force you control. Okay, so we are not going to be aggro. Nice, we got third line golem. So we don't want to move him up here. To eight or more lands gains three three. So we want to wait on that. And we're gonna play 
aggro up here. Keeping frog, if you control eight or more lands, it's three three, so it becomes a f uh, five six, which is good. Want to cast that over here? Uh, we're gonna go for this no uh, next turn, or we can cast, or we can cast thyroid giant. Oh no, we need five forests. This is what we want. What's the play here? Oh, we gotta go here with him anyways to get the area. I think the play is to... this. Leaping Frog, if you can kill your lands, I can't... Seven? It'll live that, man. So we're gonna do damage while we can. At least it can't he can't get the fairy right now. Is there a sky well, this is basically our win condition. Resolution frame rate. All right, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll lower my frame rate also. Whoop. I'm gonna lower my frame rate to. <clears throat> uh, change currently active. I can't change it. So I think we just play five ten. So this guy can't harvest. I think we should try to play aggressively. Flying charge you can't harvest, swallow creature. So so when he dies, the other guy will come back. Uh, forget it. I'll keep it at 60 frames. Should probably lower it. Gonna have to really play here. That's garbage if he does. The good part is we're done with creating our land base. We just need to play basic lands or whatever you want to call them. So we'll play one here. We'll play one here. Fight an enemy to keep your creature. <clears throat> I should I should uh, set it up so I have I, you you can see me you can see my face while I stream but whatever that's fine anyway so yeah I, I don't know I just don't like playing poker anymore. I mean, I made some good money, like, as you guys saw, I, I wrecked the, the micro stakes, but, you know, it was like, uh, what's, what's the word? It was like I was torturing myself just to do it. Just to win a couple hundred bucks here and there. In my whole life, I was just, it was just like, I was obsessed with it, man. All I wanted to do.
this guy win this? It's the A3 in him. Is there a sky wheel? This guy's awesome. <coughs> what? Fill a world with forest. I like want to see that. Alright, he's a 715. Can we kill him? We have 15 damage between us. Us dudes. Fight an enemy. We'll do that. <sighs> so we need... This guy could jump, thank god. <laughs> Holy shit. I should have played a land before I killed that guy. That was so dumb. Sorry, I am kind of drunk, so. <laughs> Con? So gay. So nice. Yeah, so every turn you can either play two basic lands that don't have anything. You can play draw a card, gain one Feria, or uh, play a, a, a land. I think that's it. You'll see it here. He's a 4-4. Four, four. Have the win five six seven? No, we don't. Fuck. So I guess I shouldn't have killed that guy. Just kept the pressure on. So it wouldn't have mattered anyways, but can't see him winning here unless he can clear the board. How can you clear the board though? He healed? played my last deck that I was going to show you guys, which is our combat. It's pretty sweet. It's, uh, all this stuff is, 
all the moves I have and shit are all about like what happens during combat. So I'll be right back. Found the game fast. Thank God we, we went second. Didn't even know. Anyways, uh, actually not a bad start. Yeah, I, I think I would have kept this hand anyways. He hasn't decided which way he wants to go, uh, which is good for us. So everything that happens in this deck is sweet. It's like everything happens during combat. So, and look at the art. Like, look at that art. That's awesome. This whole thing, the music, it's such a good game. I don't know. I just like I have more fun doing this than playing poker. <laughs> yeah, poker's more profitable, and I put like literally thousands of hours into poker to get good at it um into um we're gonna play this because the campfire is just creature just gets one one <coughs> so yeah it's more profitable but I don't know man it's like We gotta be aggro on this if he's playing some control blue deck. Blue yellow control. Playing super passively, so this is good for us. We're playing this side of the board, and we're gonna try to rush down his face as fast as we can. Uh, he's got a 4 4 jump. That's good for us. Here's our play. I'll show you our play, boys. Seven seven. Half the str the frame rate, which should be okay. <laughs> Let's just hope. Who's this guy? Filmmaker. Oh, I guess it's sign. That's him. For those film guys that aren't out there, he made a movie called um, Battleship Potemkin. Temkin, and it is a straight masterpiece, one of the best movies ever made. I'm gonna make a, a YouTube video of, on the greatest movies ever made, and run down like the top ones. 
Uh, yeah, keep this. We want to play Outland first. Ooh, he's rushing me down, huh? He's rushing me down, boy. Rushing me down. Uh, I really don't like to play this first because if he now if he breaks off here, then we 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 play towards this side. So we we want to go to combat, you know. Damn, why is this not working? Well, maybe it's down because I disconnected. He's going right to face. That is good for us. That's really good for us. Uh, we're going to play the... We want to buff this guy. So here's the thing. Like, let's think about this from a game theory perspective. He's behind on lands. He either rushes us and might lose, or doesn't rush us and we have control of the fountains. <coughs> Should be favorable. Favorable. Favorable for us. Alright, so we're going to attack it with... This. Not gonna play any of these pre uh, prematurely. <coughs> now he can't. <coughs> he can't cast on here. So cast there. Nine random damage. Okay. That's good. He lived. Very bad move. Very bad move. By our boy. Oh, so when they're summoned, they can't attack unless it says, and they can't drain from the well unless it says. Oh, come on. He's just gonna let me control the board? I don't know. Look, if you're gonna play these controlly type of moves, then can then play defense. Yeah, he has two mountains in my zone, but what's he gonna do with that? So happens when you play a rank twenty kid. I mean I'm not I'm not good at this game. Do two damage to your opponent. What is it? Combat do two damage to your opponent. So three six, huh? Pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, good. Head to what was that? Two, three appears with taunt to your hand. Okay, so his deck's all over the place. So you either go all on defense or you go all on offense. There's no other ways to do it. Okay. We got a bomb slinger.
This does one damage to all enemies. What is he at? 14? If it's what? If it's a neutral, BO5. BO3 damage. So I think we win with this next turn. Let's see, kills both. Taunt, gain two life. Gotta do three damage to him. So every other turn these come up. Should be over. Could he win? It's three mana. <sighs> Get tired. So a card and gain five life, okay. damage to my own self. <laughs> Look, watch him do 10 damage right now. So I thought that would be the damage to him. I didn't read the card. See how it said. Deal 2 damage to his controller. I thought it was like deal 2 damage to your opponent. Sphere cost equal to your life. Game one life. Each card in your hand. I should still win this. I think. Cause I have this. Radiances. Okay. Sphere cost equals your life total. All right. So two, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
Alright, this is like as good as it gets. Oh no, I thought this was the bone collector. Oh, that was the other thing. Just playing, uh... In Yellow Rush, we should be okay against this deck. Air elements is sick. So cool too. Fucked up. Oh no. I thought it. Oh no. Triple him here. Oh no. Did we just lose? <gasps> Fuck. <sighs> Not good. I thought he was going to survive it. I went for the fairy instead of going for the kill. It's so stupid because this one. I... Oh my god, I'm so done.
This deck is, or this card is so good. Sky Yak, oh my god. There's one card in hand. We're okay. We have no healing though. Death touch? Yeah. I'm like two shot it. I would like that to go over there, but I don't know, it should be okay. Two turns to kill it. Need to do three more damage, huh? I can't even cast it. I don't even know if that was the right play. Maybe I should have played offense. He has so many like uh, guys with haste. Uh, 
Oh my god. Really misplayed that too. Should have been a fucking free win. Should have been a free fucking win. I'm not. I'm not going to the side first. Just a bad strat against people you don't know. and chess. Notification. Uh, let's play this. This is the Scandinavian defense. This is the traditional line. Ah, he has my rook. It's okay. Mute. Better development. Next creature you draw against that you can't be equal to this creature. Okay. Let's sky yak it. Ah. Yeah, let's sky yak it. We're gonna win this game now, I think. What did you just fucking take? Oh, it's my bishop. Um. Ah, my. Oh my god, we, I lost this game now. It's over. This game's over. Can I checkmate him? Damn it, I can't believe I just fucking did that, man. Here, Ticker, he's really good. He's like, mm. Mm. I could go to, for the win a different way. Try it.
The queue times are actually short in this game, so there must be a lot of people playing it. Not playing rank. This isn't ranked for this kid. Hmm, I should have. Ah, what am I doing? Tiki should need to be over here collecting this feria since this is free. Oh, what am I fucking doing? Center. That's the leader, though. So, flesh, salmon cannot harvest. So, so you know. Uh, what am I doing? This should be here. Eh, I guess it's okay. Blocks him off of here. So another thing about this is you you block lands off of people. They can only play lands next to where they are. Or next to where the their lands are. So this is the timer too once this goes down. You can summon creatures on spaces adjacent to the structure. Activate, move wind gate. Okay, so you can summon right here right now. It's pretty cool. You can summon here, that's good. We're gonna just bash this thing in. Draw, ooh, that's good. Dash. Friendly creatures gets plus two plus zero. Okay. Creature draw gains attack. Alright, now I gotta protect my own house. He only needs four damage and he wins the game.
good part is, I think I can kill any freak of this creature's attack. Oh. It cheats me a little bit, but I mean, it should be okay. Give me a flash salmon. That's not good. Need a flash salmon or we, or we lose, I think, right? We got it. Nice, and he doesn't attack our death touch guy. That's good. What? This is mine, right? This one's mine. I don't think this is. No, this is not. Damn it. I gotta play more defensively, I guess. Stop the, the recording. <laughs>